What's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jam Rodriguez today I am reviewing this slick back shortcut curly glueless wig from love me hair this has a 13 by 4 lace and it's a compact wig so I don't know exactly what that means but this wig does feel very lightweight so I'm excited to try it on and see not only how the hair looks but how the fit is inside the wig we have a spacious cap here we have a band non-adjustable band we've got two clips on the side clip in the back adjustable bands in the back per usual that I am going to crisscross all right I've got my juvia's place it's out of the luggage y'all <laughs> I'm back in town so I'm going back to my normal it's got a nice color that I contour with it's kind of over that part first leading into the hairline all right a little bit of shading got that together not bad not bad all right so underneath the wig I just have one braid I'm really trying to watch how much tension I put on my hair I'm trying to grow the hair out so I'm just gonna put this on oh okay this feels extra snug I'll say that here's the wig lace lots and lots of lace I'm still gonna do my three slits but this time I'm gonna do it before spraying anything down so I've got my three slits in here it just alleviates a lot of pressure for me I'm gonna spray and blow dry each section individually. I think it's gonna help me keep things organized and a lot more clean and also help me to make sure that I'm not cutting too much or I'm cutting out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay in bounds with this cutting. So I've got my got to be spray. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm now gonna spray on top of this section. Just about right there. Ooh, dripping. I'm gonna go ahead and do my corrective spray now, in case anything is still kind of lifting after cutting. my Juvia's Place foundation, cover up any lace that I see, blend it in with my contour. I'm gonna step away from the light a little bit just to make sure I'm not overdoing anything. I don't think we're looking too shabby. So I've already washed this wig and let it air dry, so I'm just gonna re-wet it, see if we can get it restyled. So with the side, there's a little bit of lace, so we're gonna just grab some of my hair out, fold this lace in, grab a bobby pin, and just kind of pin that out of sight there. New edge control alerts, okay, sound the alarms, because this one might be a keeper. Hollywood hair, grow my edges, edge control. This is something new that I'm trying. Okay, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm kind of sharing my journey with this. I'm going to try it for the next week or so, see how things are working, how things are growing. But I'm just going to put a little bit of this around the hairline, kind of over my edges here. I did put some on my natural hair as well before slicking it back into that ponytail. That way, 
you know, most of the products go on my actual hair. All right. Last but not least, got a little serum here to add some shine. I'm gonna put a little bit in the hands, quench those ends, quench them, okay? Because they are usually thirsty. I am gonna do just a couple little layers in here. Hopefully I'm making the right choice. I just want a little bit more pop on the top layers. All right, so if you're ever curious on what I'm doing, I'm doing something called slide cutting with the top layer, okay? So I just took a little section of hair, like a triangle, kind of took my finger like this. Got that section of hair, anything at the ear or below, I just kind of leave alone. I kind of brought the hair straight up and then I'm gonna kind of tilt it to about a 45 degree angle. Again, if your stylist can do, get you in to do this, please just use your stylist. I don't want anybody getting hurt. So I have my shears here and basically what I'm doing is I'm sliding the shears across the hair using a slide cut method. So I'm using my shears like this. It's not even closing all the way. There's no snap, okay? There's no, there's no snap. <laughs> it's just like a little boop, 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 boop hinging of the shears and gliding and sliding. That's slide cutting, okay? So when I hold my shears like this, I've got my hair, I have my um, hand far away from the scissors. I've got my shears kind of starting right here because when I drop, let me close it as a reference. When I drop the hair, I kind of want that layer to kind of fall right here at the jaw. So as I lift up, that's kind of where I'm gonna start cutting and I'm going to drop the hair as I slide cut. As you can see, it just adds a little bit of volume. If you wanna keep going around the head, you can. I personally just do it in the front where everybody's gonna see it. I might do the top layer in the back. If you have a mannequin head, that's even 10 times easier to cut it and do it that way. But I like to use my face as a reference when I'm cutting my hair slide cutting okay that'll be free 99 for you <laughs> but as you can see for me it just gives me a little bit more shape with my wig it kind of takes it from a one length door the explorer whereas my backpack type of wig it's just I'm a little bit more sassy That's my video for today. I hope you enjoy learning more about this slick back 13 by four lace wig from Love Me Hair, of course. I really like the wig a lot. What I really, really love about it is the lace. The lace just felt really different. It wasn't your normal type of lace. I think they called it a glueless compact. So I don't know if that has to do with the cap or the lace, whatever it is, it's working for me. This cap was really, really comfortable normally. Sometimes the caps are a little bit more bigger and I have to figure it out. So they definitely nailed it with this wig. Hot buy for sure. You can use the discount code Gen20 to save yourself some coins and start, you know, just gearing up for them holidays. I'm telling you it's coming fast. We already at October. Don't play with it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. I'll catch you next time. Bye.